Hello there. If you click like in the next three seconds, then you're an absolute legend, mate. Also, if you haven't already, go click subscribe and the notification bell for future uploads. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'll be doing best custom tactics for squad battles. It's been suggested in the comments, so gonna do it. Uh, currently only gold one but I've been trying to play a bit of everything, do objectives especially icon swaps I think I'll only be able to do like 6 or 7 out of these 12 because these ones I don't have first owned players just for the Prem and the La Liga the other three I haven't really got anyone apart from non-rares which will be very hard to play but yeah let's get into the custom tactics I usually finish elite one so that's pretty much the best you can get apart from top 100 obviously and I've only ever been outside of it by 10,000 points once so that's the closest I've got not this year over years so over years last year uh, this isn't the team, this is the team that I play foot champs and rivals with. So uh, it's a good squad to say the game's only been out for like a month or so. Sergio Ramos, Sané, Sterling. There'll be a couple upgrades here and there over time. Aguero or a Bami Angle going striker. And I don't know what to do with the midfield. I want to change something but it's hard to link unless it's an icon which I would take a Steven Gerrard to plonk right in there where Fernandinho is that would be nice but yeah let's get into the custom tactics I'm uh, rambling on so there's all the squads for the objectives as you can see half of them aren't even finished because I don't have first own players for them this is what I use for squad battles, pretty bang average team, nothing special. A couple of players are investments such as Inform Cresswell, or the Virald, uh, Silva, a packed Pulisic and Haller, and the others are just a couple of cheap players that fill the squad. But let's get into the tactics as that's why you're here. And we'll start with ultra defensive. This is what you use in the last like 20, 10 minutes if you've got at least a two goal lead, two goal plus. One width, one depth, drop back. So they've literally got no chance of breaking you down through the middle. Crosses are bad, so unless it scripts a goal in you probably won't concede and then for the offence you go long ball so you can just punt it up to your wingers a bit of width it doesn't really matter because I mean a 4-3-2-1 anyway there's reasonable width one player in the box you can't really have any lower so one one for the corner one for the free kick instructions just literally everyone stay back come back apart from the striker tell him to stay forward get him behind or if he's a quick one you make him get him behind if he's a target man which mine is then target man it is <clears throat> so yeah everyone's come back stay back stay central such as and then we go to defensive drop back again because that's the meta again this year same as last year you go two width it doesn't really matter one or two don't really change anything depth you don't want to be full on deep in your own box because this is a 
if they start to go attacking then you drop back into defensive you don't want to be completely ultra defensive like the last one you want to play possession to keep the ball because if they're going attacking then you want to keep the ball as much as you can to, to keep them from scoring width keep a decent amount of width so when you're playing your possession you can switch side to side through balls down the wing etc players in the box just it's defensive you don't you don't really want to be crossing you don't really want to be doing that anyway it's terrible but put that on two corners two free kicks two I, I don't think these two really mean anything in any situation uh, instructions I mean a 4-2-3-1 for this so you've got stay back on the full backs stay back on the CDMs uh, for some reason I've got come back on defence on him which I shouldn't uh, I will bring David Silver back because he's the central cam he'll drop in the middle and kind of make it a 4-3-3 I suppose uh, yeah central cam come back unless he's quick keep him up there and target man once again switch that unless he's quick then it's getting behind so cams you don't touch apart from the central one they stay back and they stay back too move on to balance so this is what you start the game with drop back again because it works uh, width 3, depth 3 you don't want to be too deep but you don't want to be so far up the pitch that you're just going to get counted over and over <clears throat> so 3 depth uh, the thing is with the width if you stay central it's going to be hard for them to go through the middle so they're forced to cross because they play down the wing anyway and crosses are poor so doesn't really help them offence again possession you could uh, go balanced but I mean possession and balance kind of do the same thing you, but with possession you'll probably get a l less forward runs but you can trigger them yourself anyway so by clicking L1 or LB if it's Xbox I think <clears throat> yeah, we got five width once again if you've got a 4 3, three width doesn't really matter players in the box too you don't want so many going in there that you'll either be counted or if you keep going in and out of the box you don't want to be running out of stamina which I only have cheap players so they would run out of stamina corners two, free kicks three once again don't think they do anything that important uh, full backs because of my formation I have the full backs on overlap and balanced uh, midfield I want them on cover center I'll have indeedy actually no we'll keep it don't touch the midfield apart from cover center and the attack you want getting behind and stay forward getting behind stay forward uh, target man stay forward unless he's quick then switching to getting behind so that is balanced now this is where you're either drawing and you can probably feel yourself losing or you are losing so you need to get a goal or two um, so a uh, defensive stall press after possession loss you kind of need to win it back within the first couple of seconds because uh, your teammates press the ball for seven seconds <clears throat> if you keep losing the ball your players will get tired and that isn't good especially to the later stages of the game you'll just get punished for that full width just balance it out a bit 
depth. <clears throat> you keep that in the middle, so five, six. Keep it almost near their strikers, so you're, you're pushing them back into their half, so you can dominate the play. Defensive, I mean, offensive style, uh, fast build up or long ball. I don't know which one's best, but fast build up's good for counter attacks, and that's probably what you want if you've got quick wingers. You're just trying to feed the ball up to them as quick as possible. Um, players in box, you've got two, almost a third. So they'll slowly drift up and down the pitch. It's Grant, once again, crosses are useless, but just in case there's like an odd, odd uh, deflection and your players are actually there to tap it in. Four and corners and free kicks, don't really matter like I said. Keep them on overlap. Uh, cover centre, cover centre. Stay forward, stay on edge. Uh, wingers, stay forward, stay wide, get in behind. Stay forward, stay wide, get in behind. Target man, and stay forward. So you just wanna keep everyone up there, force them into their own half, force them into their own box, and just keep the pressure on, really. Try to keep possession as well, because if you get counter-attacked, on uh, that high of that high depth, you could be in trouble. But if you lose possession on this one, then you're almost screwed. So ultra attacking, constant pressure. This is the last 10 minutes. Any earlier, you kind of forfeit in the game, really. Because if you keep constant pressure on with 30 minutes to go, you'll have no stamina, your players will be all over the place, and you'll get punished. <coughs> Voice crack. You'll get punished. Width. Balance it again, about five or six. Depth. You want it almost level with their strikers. Uh, I've got that on seven. You need to just keep your team out of your half, keep them in theirs, and just keep pressuring them until they concede. Offensive style, fast build up, or possession, if you're that worried about losing possession, which you should be. <coughs> but because it's fast build up, you can still keep possession, you're just getting more runs in behind. Width, like I say, balanced. Um, players in box, I've got four, as it is ultra attacking, you may as well just throw everything you have at them. There's no point putting everything in there because you'll literally have nothing to defend. So four, and then a couple on the edge. Uh, corners and free kicks. Just don't know what they do, so yeah. Uh, overlap, overlap. Cover centre, cover centre, stay forward, stay wide, stay forward, get in behind, stay forward, stay wide, get in behind. Um, you would also want your striker to get in behind as well now, because your midfield three are going to push up, that's if you're in this formation that is, your midfield will push up and therefore your striker may as well push further ahead, so get in behind and stay forward. But yeah, that is my custom tactics that I use to get Elite One every week. It's not the greatest team, and I'm sure your team's better than this, so if you use those tactics and you know how the AI work, which I have a previous video, How to Beat Legendary, it's done very well, almost 20,000 views. Um, I played a poor team against a very good team, 1-2-0, solid, and this is still pretty much a poor team against the kind of squads that are out now, so yeah, if you know how the AI work, you use those tactics, you keep your calm possession game, then you should be getting at least Elite 2, I would say. 
and therefore get in uh, 255k packs if you get Elite 1 and 30k coins which I normally get and I should try and get this week as well as foot champs. Elite 2 is alright as well. Elite 3 is kind of meh. It's kind of it'll do kind of thing. But yeah, that is custom tactics for squad battles. I finish Elite 1 so you can't really say these tactics mean nothing because they do stuff for me. Obviously tactics don't, obviously they're not like be all and end all, you're going to win, you're going to lose. So it is about the player as well, but tactics give you that little edge. So yeah, that's my custom tactics for squad battles. Uh, please like and subscribe, more videos out soon. Um, squad battles rewards will be on Monday, depending on where I finish, because I don't really want to upload gold one, it's average, and there will probably be a uh, custom tactics for foot champs or online in general soon. Yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.